So, in a surprise to absolutely nobody, the day before was late to their own party yet again. They had posted on Twitter that they're going to show us a non-GMO zombie this Friday. Tune in June 11th at 10 a.m. PST. Pum 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 pum. And they posted a picture of a burger and fries making fun of McDonald's. And they hashtagged YouTube and then responded to that tweet with a little video director's clip thing saying that it's going to be a video. And we were doing a live stream. I tuned in and... Uh, yet again, they, I guess, forgot to upload the video, and then turns out a few hours later, they decide to drop a one-minute teaser of somebody walking through what looks like a shopping mall into a McDonald's-esque style restaurant with a zombie killer clown running at them in which they then put them down. So, some more pretty scripted gameplay with some of the weather elements coming in here. Dark interiors with some, some very minimal lighting. We do see this baby carriage with a bunch of blood on the ground. And uh, again, it's just another linear shot with the character walking around looking at the environment. The game looks gorgeous, but I believe this being the third time that they have announced that they're putting out some information and then delayed it by a few hours, wasting everybody's time, it's starting to, at this point, just make me not have any interest in the game. I'm starting to wonder how this team is going to handle doing real content updates to this game post-launch if they can't even figure out how to release a YouTube video on time. This is starting to become the delay before at this point. It's literally becoming a meme that these guys can't put out whatever they say they're putting out at the time they say they're putting it out. And seeing how every other studio at this point is doing deep dives into their releases because it's E3 season and this is where we find out a lot of information about the games we're excited about. The fact that they hyped up a video coming this Friday, the launch of E3 weekend, and we got a one minute teaser of shooting a zombie clown in the middle of an empty McDonald's doesn't really sit well with me. I'm starting to lose a lot of faith. Not that I had a lot to begin with because there were so many unanswered questions, but I was hoping that E3 was going to bring a lot of information. I, I guess I should have known. The delay before is looking like it could be an incredible game if it turns out to be real and actually look and play like it's being represented here. But the lack of communication, and when we do get news, it comes hours, sometimes days after it's been slated to be released, makes me question not only the validity of the project, but moving past that, the competence of this dev team. A lot of people have been pointing out that these guys are a small indie studio and that there's no way they can make something like this happen at this quality, running this well with the resources they have. And after seeing how all of this PR has been rolled out, I'm kind of inclined to agree with them even more than I was before. What the delay before needs now is a 20 minute unscripted gameplay session uploaded by the devs. It doesn't need to have all the flashy production, just have the devs sit down with the game, run around, talk about some of the areas and why they decided to build them that way, showcase some player interaction with maybe another dev, how trading and grouping works, and actually dive into the game's features. The problem with what they're doing now is you have two camps. Those who will blindly hype anything that looks flashy and those that question absolutely everything. And you can squash both of those problems by just showing the game in a more natural environment. Follow that play test up with another one between YouTubers and streamers so you guys can see your favorite creators playing the game and if they like it, you can trust them. That's a slam dunk PR strategy. These guys are making it way harder than it needs to be. It's not that difficult. I want to keep following this game, but until they start showing something that's actually tangible and worth talking about... I'm honestly just gonna sit here and just kind of lurk in the shadows. There's a lot of people that are clamoring for a game like this, and everything that the delay before is showing looks awesome, but it's few and far between, and we still don't really know anything about the game. They're also slated to be releasing in quarter two, 2021. It's nearly the middle of June. 
that's not happening either. So the game is being delayed, which is probably the only thing that I can say these devs do do consistently, which is really, really sad. Let me know what you guys think down below. And if you guys enjoy the content, leave a like, subscribe for more just like this. This is E3 weekend. So there's a ton of content coming out of this channel. So stay tuned for all of that. Support the channel at 99 cents a month. And you guys can pick up my merch that has just dropped for E3 week only. That ends on Tuesday. My name is Big Fry, and I'll see you on the next one.